Hello beautiful person watching, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I use three simple ingredients to make this juicy, tasty, whole fish in the air fryer. Now this recipe can work for any fish that you love to eat, so you can try it on any fish, it doesn't matter. Let's jump right into the recipe, but before we do, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome, my name is Bena, thank you so much for clicking and watching this video, and please do consider taking a moment to hit that red subscribe button, like and share this video, and also turn on your notification bell, because I do upload healthy, delicious air fryer recipes every week. Thank you so much and let's jump right in. So we are going to start first by properly cleaning our fish. Now this fish comes descaled, but I'm still going to use my knife and my scissors to just clean it up properly. I usually go ahead with my scissors and I just cut off the tails. I cut off the fins part of the mouth and I use my hands to remove the gills. I also use the knife to just cut in the tummy in the middle because sometimes it gets some accumulated um, stuff like blood or something in the middle. I make sure that I really scrape it out and wash it properly. I also use my knife to just make sure that there's no scales that are left on the fish just so it's properly cleaned. Just watch as I complete this. So once our fish has been properly washed, cleaned and rinsed and re-rinsed again, the next step I am going to just make four incisions on both sides of the fish. So what this does, it, it's going to help the fish to be able to absorb whatever seasoning you're going to use on your fish. And once this is done, I'm also going to squeeze half the juice of a lemon all around the fish into the incisions right in into the belly all around it. It also helps the lemon will also help the fish to be able to absorb the seasoning properly. Make sure you don't skip this step because it is so important. It helps you to really have your fish taste right into the bone. So these are the ingredients we are going to need to marinate our fish. Remember I mentioned it's only going to be three simple ingredients. So I have here some tomatoes. So what I did was I went ahead and just de-seeded, remove any liquids from the tomato. I have my onion right here and I have one small red bell pepper. Now I also de-seeded it and I also have the small scotch bonnet. This is optional totally. I just want some extra heat in there. That's why I'm adding it. So we're going to proceed and just blend all these ingredients. So I'm going to blend. I'll go in with my scotch bonnet. Tomatoes. Onions. And finally, a bell pepper. Then we are going to blend. Just make sure that you blend this without any added water because we don't want it too runny. So once we are done blending, I'm going to transfer it into this saucepan. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring it to a boil and I'll leave it open. I will not cover the pot. And the reason is because I want some of the water to evaporate so that it can thicken up a little bit. That way it's easier to work with. On the fish rather than when it is a little bit runny even though we didn't use any water to blend still um, these are vegetables that have a lot of water in them and so it's going to be a little bit runny so I'll show you how it looks like once it's done so, 
So this has been for about four minutes and all the liquid dried out. We just have our concentrate right here. I did also go ahead and turn off the heat. So I'm just going to take this out and transfer it and then we can move on to the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and just dry our fish. Just make sure that you dry it from any liquids before it goes in the air fryer. And here I have our bell pepper, tomato and onion right here. And in there, I'm just going to add in some salt. You just want to make sure that you do your salt to taste. I'll do a little bit of black pepper as well. And I'm going to pour in some avocado oil because we don't want our fish drying out. start with the head I'm going to just go in with some make sure that everywhere gets coated because you want your fish to be tasty and moist everywhere next we're gonna go into the slits and just make sure I'm just going to put it in the basket, in my air fryer basket, and I'll go clean up and then we can put it in there. Just want to go in gently and just flip it over. We're going to go in and just add in some more of our seasoning and I did also go ahead and I just cut some bell peppers with onion I'm just going to put this to the side so it can cook with it alongside just like so I'll just do a little bit of the rub on it so I just went ahead and put a little bit of salt black pepper and uh, just so we have some veggies cooked with our fish. Pop this back into the air fryer for eight minutes. So our fish is all ready to be served and I hope that you get to try this recipe out. This fish was so delicious. Thank you so much for watching this video with me today. If you did like it, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Share this video with your family and friends so that more people can know about Healthy with Bena. Until I come your way next time with something healthy and delicious, please continue to drink lots of water, stay hydrated, be well, be safe. Thank you. Bye.